Hello. This uh, is a cover of Gabe Bondock's little black book. No, I'm just kidding. It's a tutorial um, to make one of these little charms. It's just a nice way to show your appreciation towards this wonderful artist. I'll have all his links below, and let's get started. One, two, seven, nine. Okay, so the materials you'll need is a roller, exacto, and some clay. Now with the clay, you can get pre-colored clay, which would probably be a lot easier, but you know, I love to paint. So with the clay, roll it out as thin as possible. We will be doing the pages of the book first. Okay, so once it's thin, not too thin so it breaks, but thin enough, you're going to cut it on each side. Make sure it's even. Now you can use a ruler or you can just eyeball it, but it's really up to you just as long as the pages are in even length. Now with the pages you could cut about four pages or five pages. It's really up to you. It's based on how thick you want the book. So when you have all your pages, you can actually crumple them up so they look old or you can nick them on the edges. You don't have to make the book look perfect. Let's make it look as if it's been used for quite a while. Okay, so what you should have is something that looks like this. Now these are just the pages. Okay, so for the cover, um, you're going to roll out the clay again, but not too thin. In fact, you don't want it as thin as the pages, because the book cover should be thicker. Now grab the book and place it right on top. We're going to be using it as a measurement, just to help you see um, how long you should cut the clay. Now it should cover the entire book, but keep in mind the cover is going to be longer than the pages. This is actually one of my favorite parts, just because it reminds me of when we used to use, I guess, cardboard paper to cover our books in high school. But um, this is what it should look like when you're done. Now just like the pages, you can make the cover worn out too by putting nicks, scratches, anything to make it look like it's been used. Now we're going to put the binding and you're just going to grab a tool or you can use the exacto and you're just going to draw a line on the front and the back right where the spine of the book should be. After firing it should look something like this. Pretty worn out, right? Okay, so if you didn't use pre-colored clay the colors you'll need to paint it is black white, a skin color, maybe even yellow, um, and silver too. With every charm, make sure you add the base color first. So I found it easier to paint the pages and then paint the cover afterwards. Now with the pages, you can start off with the silver and then later on we'll add the detail. When you've added enough layers, you can go move on to the pages. Now on top of the silver base coat that you put, you can put white, but only on the edges of the page. Okay, so you can't really see it here because I think the book was too dark, but I'm adding white and silver and I'm smudging it out to make it look really worn and overused. With how battered the book is looking, I think there must be like over a hundred names in there. So after making it look really torn up, um, the last step is to add the lettering. You know how much I love lettering, right? <laughs> but um, just take your time and it'll just take a lot of patience. And if you do mess up, just use black and you can basically erase it and start all over. So since it's Gabe Bondock's book, let's make it a little bit more personal. So in the front you can put musical notes or in the back, or you can even put his name in the binding. It's really up to you. Be really, really creative and have fun with it. So if you followed all my instructions, it should end up a little something like this. I had a small black book, but I threw it away. When you told me your name, I had to keep your babe. I call quits from all the mother guys. I kind of wish there was a girl version now. But um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys had fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and I'll see you guys next time.